Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar Town Gaming. Today, I'm going to show you a farm route for this beautiful um, place over here called Craggymore. This is Stone Falls. This is a little farming route that um, that one of my friends taught me. Um, I'm going to give a huge shout out to Mo, to Your Own Horn, and Hurricane 70. These guys are the ones that showed me this route. So it starts right here. So you just travel to Cragmore, and this is your first chest. And look, it's a master chest. So if you need Red Mountain, Silks of the Sun, um, I can't remember the other set that comes out of there. Oh, uh, Shulk. There you go. Shulk. Then this is the route for you. So this is the route for you. This is the second. And then this is the third right here. And this is a route that if chests are not spawning, you can actually start doing nodes as well. Because you can see there's a node up there. There's not going to be that much competition as far as um, nodes. So you're going to be able to get some good nodes. There's a node source right there. Um, I actually know this route by heart. <laughs> including the nodes, which is pretty sad. Uh, there's a chest right here. Sometimes you have to fight that stupid uh, thing. But if you actually give it time, if you um, if you don't want to fight it, and you give it a little bit of time to go away, like it goes in a pattern to where you can actually avoid that. So there you go. And then this last chest in this Kragenmore town is right here. As you can see, just go behind the alchemy station, and it's right here. I definitely want to give a huge shout out to Mo and Hurricane 70 and Toot Euro Horn. They own um, five finger discounts, uh, five dollar motifs, and you know they're pretty good peeps. They showed me this route. We did this route a long time ago. Now sometimes there's a chest right there, but it's one of those events. Now this is another one where you can actually kind of manipulate that spider. And as you guys can see, there's like three nodes right here. So if you're farming nodes along with this route, then you are definitely able to do that. So this is the next one, the next chest. The next chest, there's a node right there. There's another chest back here, one right there, and then one over here. There's a woodworking node. There's also like a node right here. This is another like node spot where uh, just be careful because that guy will get you in trouble. And then as soon as you find this. There you go. Why is it not? <laughs> there you go. There you go. And then after that, kind of maneuver around these guys. And you're going to go, like there's some nodes right here to pick up along the way. That way you're not, you know, doing random stuff. There's some nodes right there. There's a node right here. There's some of these chalks. You can actually do these to get, like, beetle scuttle. But you don't have to. Now you gotta jump this at the right angle. There's three nodes, four nodes. So it's a little bit of jumping and a little bit of writing. But, um, it's, it's nice. <clears throat> now, that next sound that you see right there, that is, um, that is one that you're going to have a hard time because that's a chest down there. So you have to wait till that next hound is further away to get that chest or you're going to have to fight that thing. Ugh, I'm probably gonna have to fight that thing. I struggle with Master Chest. Now, there's a couple of nodes right here that are available in the area. As you guys can see, there's all kinds of good stuff. Um, this worker sometimes you will have to to get it to get this thing 
but sometimes you don't. It really depends. And then you come up here, check there. If you're on your way back, you could actually get out on the other side. I'll show you on the way back. Because on the way back, you're still looping. Because um, sometimes you'll find nodes on the way back that you didn't see there. And that's why we loop around. There's a chest right there. Then another chest spot right there. Makey comes out right here as well. And then you might have to fight that Palma worker sometimes too. And then this is the basically the the end point of the route on this side. And then you kind of go back uh, on a circle. Um, but there's still chests we haven't seen because it's how you know we go back. So what you do is you get on the horse, go through here. That way you don't kill the Palma. And then there's a chest that's here. Then you go around. You can actually pick up this note on the way around. And then you loop around, basically. You're looping around, and you're picking the nodes that are there. And then that's when, on this chest, like, if you're going up, look, the chest is right here. It wasn't here a minute ago, but it's here now. So when you're looping around, you can actually get this chest right here like we did and then come loop around again grab all this thing i'm gonna stop for cornflower sorry folks um and then you loop around the same way you came so it's gonna be a loop and look there's a chest right here there wasn't a chest there before but now there is so that's why we loop around and we end up right back in cracking now I'm going to show you a spot as well in this route where you can get some, um, if you need to decon stuff, this is, you know, the place to do it. Um, if you don't want to do it in the main town. So there's nodes, nodes, nodes. And then you basically go this route, avoid the shocks. And then you see this little magma overflow overlook, magma flow overlook. That is the place that I actually decon. Now, as you can see, there's another chest over there somewhere, um, but I, I don't get it. So I come to this little station because there's basically everything's here, and I decon the stuff that I need, and then we go back to Kragamore. Look at that. That chest was not there before. And make sure you're not breaking these chests. Make sure you're not forcing the chest because that's one of the things you can do to make sure that you don't get a good drop. So you want to make sure you're not forced to open the chest. Sometimes there's going to be like a little dude up here, like a little clan fear um, that people, it's, it's tied to a quest. So I mean, you can help them out if you want, but I usually try not to draw attention to that site. So on the way back, you're just basically doing stuff. There's a thief's robe up there. And then here's something cool. So on the way back, you can actually peek right here and say, okay, there's no chest there, so I don't need to go over there. And then you, on the way back, you go this way. And as you can see, there's, there's a chest right here now. And then you go up the stairs. This is where uh, the crafting is at as well. So if you'd rather decon here, you can do it there. But I like that magma flow overlook. Make sure you get off your mount over here because if there's a chest here, sometimes like you'll um, you'll basically end up, you know, meh. And sometimes there's a thief's throw back there. Just kind of watch for it. It'll be there. And then after you come this way. On the way back. And then you go right here. 
and then back here and this is basically like you could basically have this as a starter point but I showed you guys how to start with the town that way you can um, you can kind of do that so as you can see on the map there's like a little chest here and then you basically go kind of in a circle and then come back um, this is in Cragmore Way Shrine it's just left of um, Stone Falls and you're basically like doing a little chest around in the, in the thing going right here go all the way there up there you stop and then come all the way back so what that's one thing that if you if you get lost um, or if you don't start seeing chests you can start picking up nodes that's when you start picking up nodes and uh, in the route but um, this is another route that you know if you're waiting on something to do if you're waiting on a queue to pop whatever you can actually do this route and get things done other than that uh, is Shulk, Silks of the Sun, and Red Mountain, I believe. Um, let me make sure. Um, I'm pretty, yeah, it's, uh, oh, Stone Falls. So it's Red Mountain, Shulk, and, and Silks of the Sun. Those are the three sets that are here. Um, Red Mountain and Silks of the Sun is probably the most useful sets out of here. The Inferno Staff of the Sun and the, like, the Sword of the Sun are actually pretty neat. The uh, Shield of the Sun is tied to a quest, so be careful with that. Um, and I don't know if the Lightning Staff or uh, the Resto Staff of the Sun actually do well in trades, but uh, I know they're buying pieces of Silks of the Sun, so anywhere from 5 to 10k on console, on PS4 and A. I don't know what they sell for here. Um, I could look real quick and see. Like on Mace of the Sun, there's no price. Uh, Inferno Staff the Red Mountain, there's no price. Let me see. This is like 8k on here. This is 24k. This is like 60k plus over here. But, um, like I said, it, 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 I don't know. I don't know exactly what they sell for i just know the ps4 and a prices um on this are a little bit different so thank you guys for watching make sure to sub to get videos just like this and um you know have fun enjoy bye